Hey everyone, this is Mir Hafizullah from Kafil Afghanistan and you're watching Trucker Josh or TJV on YouTube. Good morning. Uh, it's cold. It's a little bit nipply out there. Uh, about 10 degrees Celsius. It's probably in the 40s Fahrenheit. Giddy. All right. Uh, we've already done our pre-trip. Check the brakes. Our trailer's attached, but I'm just going to double check by doing a little tug test here. Just because it makes me feel better. Just gonna drive forward a couple of feet and yank the brakes on the trailer. Trailer is attached, brakes work, roll forward again, brakes release. Well, let's get out of here. So we're in Rothsay, Minnesota. It's about 7.30, uh, 7.45 in the morning right now. Stopped here for precisely 10 hours and two minutes. Then did our 15 minute pre-trip. And now we are ready to rock and roll. There we go. Now, I've actually had to had to turn the heat on in the cab tonight. You know, I don't mind the, the cold of winter, really. You know, you can dress for it. You can keep yourself warm. It's the blizzards that I don't like. The snow on the highways. Not a fan of it. And the ice. But what can you do? I live in the north. There's not much you can do. Accept it and move on. This is Interstate 94 eastbound. We've got a couple of hours and we'll be in Minneapolis. We're gonna head straight south from there. For those new people, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Do it right away before you forget. Pause the video, go and subscribe. Make new videos every day we're on the road here. I am based in Canada, barely. Uh, I'm just over the border into Manitoba, just north of Minnesota, northwest of Minnesota, and eastern North Dakota. So I'm up in the cold section of the country. We're hauling a load of lumber today. We're taking it down to Waterloo, Iowa. I want to get it unloaded today yet, and it's still about seven hours away. Should be arriving there around 2.30 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. Can't get the temperature right in here. Never do that. I turn it a little colder and then I'm freezing. So I turn it a little warmer and then I'm sweating. So I turn it a little colder and I'm freezing. It's right in that temperature where I can't find the right... Hey. So I just called my customer. I'm a pretty happy trucker right now. Uh, the people who are receiving this lumber. You remember last week or was it the week before? We were uh, delivering to a customer who went home at like 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. They wouldn't take any loads after 2 o'clock, I think. And we were talking about like, wow, must be nice to go home right after lunch, right? Everybody else has to stay a normal business day, but they get to go home early. It bothers me when receivers don't have regular business hours like that because it really puts a kink in our side of things, but maybe I'm just being selfish. I don't know. But anyways, I called the place where we're bringing this to down in Waterloo, Iowa. And I asked them what their uh, hours of receiving were. And they're open to receive until 10 p.m. Got a new favorite customer till 10 p.m. Like, they just blew the other guys out of the water. Like, they said, oh, no, we're not going to just be open normal business hours. We'll raise you till 10 p.m. Nice. Okay, so I'm not in that big of a rush now then. Because I was just going to go as fast as I could to get there because I was going to arrive there around like 3 o'clock, maybe 3.30. And uh, I was hoping that they would be open till 4, right? So I was in a bit of a hurry. Yeah, I can take my 
the time, relax. I guess I don't have to be going this fast then. Save some fuel. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna slow down. Go back behind this guy I was just passing. He's gonna be wondering, what is he doing? Just about to pass this guy. You know, I'm gonna slow down and save some fuel. There's no big rush today. Uh, let's bring her on down to 60 miles an hour. There we go. Much better, because we're going against wind right now, so I'm just sucking the fuel. Just in the last hour that I've, hour and a half that I've been on the road, I've been averaging 55 liters per 100 kilometers. That's about double what I would usually burn. And I'm already not getting paid too much to pull the lumber, which is fine because we pulled these lumber loads down here because there's good high paying loads going back. So it balances out. Otherwise I'd be coming down here empty. That, that's my only other option. So I have something on the trailer, but this way at least I'll slow down, save some fuel, breathe a little bit, let my blood pressure go down. We're not late. I'm gonna get there with plenty of time and we'll get to Chicago. Well, I'm not gonna sleep in Chicago tonight, let's be clear, but I'll be uh, nearby. Maybe I'll go to like, uh, what's that town called? Straight south down I-39, south of Rockford. Rochelle? Is that what it is? Rochelle, Illinois? There's a big TA and big truck stops there. Maybe that's where I'll go for the night. And then in the morning, we'll make our way into Chicago. Because I don't want to sleep in Chicago overnight. No way. You couldn't pay me to sleep in Chicago overnight. Well, if you want to pay me to sleep in Chicago, let's talk numbers. I mean, I want to see a couple of zeros at least. Three or more zeros. <laughs> I'm putting my life on the line. You know, slowing down to 60 hasn't even really helped that much. This wind is so strong and we're driving directly into it right now. Right into it. I may as well just strap a big parachute to the back of my trailer and be pulling that down the interstate. Time to check on the load. Make sure nothing fell off. The rain has slowed down a little bit now, so may as well get this done now before it starts raining again. We've driven 185 kilometers today so far. That's a little over 100 miles. Continue on this road for 10 kilometers. Dude, why are you parked? Are you are you gonna move? Or are you gonna stay right in the driveway? Because I need that to get into my parking spot. Oh, you're just going to park right in the way? Okay. Well, I'm just going to come really close past you here and probably freak you out a little bit because I need this space to get into my parking spot. Dude, there's so many parking spots available here, right? Ah, people. People, people, people. I'd rather just park there instead of just coming into a nice parking spot like this. I don't understand it, you know? There's a lot of good drivers out here. Most drivers are really good people. Just trying to put food on the table for their family, you know? And then there's the lazy guys, you know? Who you can tell haven't really gotten out of their truck and walked more than 50 feet in about 10 years. Yeah, I know I'm being a little mean. What? Sometimes people need a rude awakening. Like, wake up! All right, let's check this stuff out. Diesel. Since we have a little bit of extra time, or more time than we thought, figured we'd stop by this uh, truck stop here near Sox Center in Minnesota and enjoy their big dog park. Nice big fenced in area. Diesel. Busy sniffing, man. Busy sniffing. There's been some really good looking dogs over here, man. There ain't some chicks been here, man. Diesel, hey. Stop sniffing for the girls. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Diesel. Come here, buddy. Come say hi to everybody. I'm busy, guy. Busy, you see? Leaving my scent for all the ladies. Yeah, they'll smell you. They'll know you were here, man. 
and they'll go watch YouTube and they'll see you on the YouTubes. Such a good boy. It's a nice dog park, eh? Maybe you should do some running and less sniffing, eh? Less sniffing, more running. Hmm? 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 <laughs> Come on. Go, 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 go. There you go, now you got it. There you go. Oh, you want me to run? Well, that's a different story. Go, 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 go. You'd be a great NASCAR driver. All you do is make left turns. <laughs> oh, you're gonna prove me wrong. Okay, maybe an Indy car driver. <sighs> Why don't you run, man? Run more than ten feet. Why don't you run more than ten feet? Good point. Touche. <gasps> Good boy. Okay, well, we've been trying to run around here for a little while, unsuccessfully. I guess we don't want to waste too much time. We don't have all the time in the world, just a little more time than we thought. Time to get back trucking. Turn right on Main Street. So, we're here in Waterloo, and I gotta go over the river here and then back over the river over there to our right. Uh, where do I turn? I don't think I can make a turn there, though. Or wait. No. Can I turn right here? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can turn right here. Here, right, Karen? On Main Street. Well, I had to back into this place here. Through there. Across a busy street. <laughs> but now we're empty. So, uh... Now I can pull on back out of here, and we're on our way to Chicago. I'm gonna avoid all the tolls. One great thing about my GPS Karen here, I can just tell her, hey, I don't want any tolls today, and she'll tell me how much the tolls are if I do want to take the toll road. So that's pretty cool. Mandy never told me how much I'd have to pay in tolls. There we go. So I'm not gonna go all the way to Chicago. We're picking up like, oh, close to downtown Chicago. Like, in my mind, it's close to downtown Chicago. People who live there would probably be like, no, 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 that's five neighborhoods over. I know, I get it, but to me, that's really close to the heart of a city that I don't want to spend the night in. <laughs> so, we're going to find a different place to spend the night in. Which way do I want to go? Which way do I want to go? Do I want to go left? Which way is north? Gotta back up a little bit here. Cars are coming past. Gotta figure out which direction I wanna go. I think it's telling me to go right. Right? No. I'm gonna go left. Karen? You better correct me if I'm wrong. Karen? Karen? Come on, Karen, we're on cut all day. Talk to me, woman. Talk to me, did I make you angry? Why won't you talk to me? What's wrong, Karen? Are we okay? Karen, what's going on here? Why aren't you talking to me? Why are you angry at me? She's not picking up the GPS signal for some reason. Let's just exit out of it, go back into it. That's what I do all the time. If she's not doing what I want her to do, I just press reset. It's a very handy button to have. Proceed to the highlighted route. There we go. Okay, your route incurs toll costs. But I told you not to compare routes. Okay. Let's see. So I told you not to take tolls. Okay, so if I go in the toll routes, I'll be spending between $11.20 and $14.40. But I can also press no toll. Proceed to the highlighted route. 30 miles further, but... $20 less makes you wonder 30 miles is 50 kilometers if I'm burning because I'm empty I'd probably be burning about 25 liters per hundred kilometers 
So I'd be what? Why can't I think right now? Twelve and a half, twelve fifty. Twelve dollars and fifty cents it would cost me to drive. No, wait, 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 wait. Twelve and a half liters it would cost me. My brain's hurting. Okay. 50 kilometers at 25 liters per 100 kilometers, I would burn 12 and a half liters. Okay, so down here in the US, diesel fuel right now is at about a dollar a liter. I'm talking Canadian money. So about a dollar a liter. Why am I using my calculator for this? $12.50. Okay, so it would cost me $12.50 to go the extra 30 miles or 50 kilometers, but it would cost me up to $14.40 to go through the toll route, which is shorter. So really, by taking the not toll route, which is longer, I'm saving myself $2. See that? And you thought truckers didn't have to do any math. You hear that, kids? Pay attention in math class. You're going to need it. Especially consumer math. I don't know what they call it where you're from, but uh, we're around here when I was in school anyways, back in the day when I was in high school. Uh, they called it consumer math. The most, uh, why are you guys not straight? There you go. The most uh, beneficial math class you can take to be a truck driver. I would also recommend you take a lot more than I did because uh, I didn't take like pre-calculus or uh, what's the other fancy one? The other fancy math. So uh, when I wanted to go back to university, uh, they required me to go back to high school or at least go back to like an adult school where I would redo those classes just so that I can have those classes under my belt because I wanted to be a police officer I was going to go through uh, criminology I actually got accepted into the University of Winnipeg and University of Manitoba uh, to go through criminology but uh, well here we are life choices were made and here I am running my own truck making more money than I would have as a cop. <laughs> so I think that's good. I'm not home often. I know, I know cops are home pretty much every night, right? Unless they're working a double. They also have a lot more danger to deal with because, you know, they people shoot at them and stuff. And that's, that's not very nice. Nobody really shoots at me. But I'm not home as often. But I make a lot more money than cops. So I don't know. I'm happy with my life decision. But that's why I'm here. Well, that's why I'm here. I could have gone to university, could have been a cop, became a trucker instead, and I'm happy with my choice. So we were going the wrong way. Had to turn around. Thanks, Karen. Where were you? I needed you. Made me sad you didn't want to talk to me. She apparently wasn't uh, connecting to the satellites or the GPS or whatever. Had to reset her. Good thing you got that reset button. We've sure gotten a lot of rain here in Iowa today. Wow. I got an alert on my cell phone a couple of minutes ago. Almost like an amber alert, except it said that there's flash flood warnings for this area. It said to avoid flooded areas. And I was like, well, duh. I don't really uh, usually drive into floods, but thanks for the heads up. Hopefully we don't run into any flooding. Like it's been like this for a good portion of the day, all the way down from like on the other side of Minneapolis in Minnesota. Lots and lots of rain. This is definitely the most rainfall that I've driven through this year. Kind of windy too. Thanks, eh? Well, we're making our way down south. Uh, I forget what highway we're on. We're on a U.S. highway uh, between Dubuque and Rockford or something like that. We're headed south. But we're, we just left Dubuque, Iowa. So I'm not sure if you guys from around here remember this rainfall from last week. I'm driving through it right now. This is crazy. Got a pretty strong wind coming out of the west to our right, pushing us over to our left. I 
I don't got any weight on the trailer right now, but I did just get new drive tires, so that that's good. That'll help in a rainfall like this. Right. I just sort of want to get out of here. Whew. Pretty intense. Seriously, it's just not letting up. Yeah, it's a strong wind coming from over there. You know, if I just keep moseying along, I'm doing about eh, 45 miles an hour right now. Uh, I'll slow her down to 40. That's uh, about six, 70 kilometers an hour. Speed limit 65 or 105 here. But just moseying along, and eventually, you know, if I keep driving, I've got to get to the other side of the system, right? And sneak out the other side. Can't even see my trailer behind me. Chicks. Diesel's hiding in the sleeper. Oh, it's getting a little better now. Okay, it's slowing down now. It might just be a little pocket and it'll probably get worse again. Those clouds don't look too friendly in front of us. As long as it doesn't start hailing, you know? Yeah, it's starting to get heavy again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was just a little pocket. Yikes. Insane. I wish I was sitting inside watching Netflix right now. That'd be nice. Not out on the highway. But it's not bad enough yet for me to pull over. I got this. Just careful on the downhill here. Gravity's doing its thing. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll get out of this eventually. It's only 7.30 in the evening. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. It's just this dark from the storm. It's worse that way. And that, that direction is Chicago. So, we'll see how far we make it. Clinton, Iowa. This is where we're spending the night. Right off to the right here, there's a quick star or quick trip, whatever they call it. See if there's any parking spots here for us. We're not on a major interstate, so I would assume there'd be something here for Trucker Josh. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Quick star number 348. Thanks, Karen. I wish she'd respond back. You're welcome, boss. Have a good night, boss. Anytime. Let's see if there's any parking in here. Why are you guys crooked? What's with all these cars taking up full truck spots back here? Oh, wait, no, those are not full truck stop, truck spots, okay. Okay, so yeah, there's still some spots here. Well, there's that one there. You know what, I'm gonna take that one. Or maybe I should park back here. Is that a spot there? Is that a spot? No, there's a bobtail in there. Bobtails! I just passed the bobtail section. Why aren't the bobtails in the bobtail section? I'm okay, I'm okay. 